We just joined a game in play at Mahjong time. They finished the Charleston, so we're now in the pick and discard phase of the game. We're going to practice reading hands. Right now, it appears that nobody's playing wins. Two dots. Oh, let me go full screen. Two This way you can see the tiles better. So based on discards and exposures, we're going to practice identifying what hand everybody is playing. Three dots. This is a great skill to build. Two, three, and dots are out. One dot. It's going to be likely that no one's playing a year hand. Five bamboos. Well, at least in dots, one suit. There are no one suit. Six characters. Hands. <laughs> They're mixed suit hands for the year. Six dots. Three sixes. Sixes are going down. Flowers. It's going to be very challenging to play a three, six, nine hand. East wind. North and south. Not out Two yet. Bamboos. There could be one or more players in north and south. North and Seven South, characters. second hand down, third hand down, could, could be happening here. There's a big Kong. hesitation. All right, we have a Kong of Eights. Seven Kong of Eights. Characters. They could be playing 2468. They could be playing Six like numbers addition, consecutive run. Two dots. They could even be playing maybe a wind hand, North and South with a run. Five characters. We'll see. Usually with two exposures, you can figure it out. Green dragon. There's a hesitation on the green dragon. A little bit. Four characters. Green dragon. Two characters. Here's a hesitation on the two crack. Kong. All right, we have a Kong with a Joker. Three characters. Two crack. Kong. Nine bamboos. My guess is that they're playing a consecutive Eight hand. bamboos. Because they have a, they have two dots in Nine front of them, characters. a white dragon, six cracks. So my guess is they're playing consecutive run. Three characters. They just threw a three crack. So a mixed suit consecutive run hand. Seven characters. For south, the player in front of us. East, we don't know yet. They have three, Nine four, bamboos. two, three, four. Sixes are out. My guess is they're playing... Also nine consecutive characters. run. They just discarded a nine crack Four from the characters. middle of their hand. So my guess is they're playing a consecutive run hand there. Red dragon. So consecutive run for east, consecutive run for south. Seven bamboos. Not much of hesitation there. Nine characters. Another nine crack discarded there. South wind. Now let's see if uh, north and south go Pung. out. Oh, we have a pung across from us. So they're the ones who are ha, are playing north and south, south with a run. Win. Incidentally, they discarded a six band from the middle of Eight their hand. Characters. So my guess is they have a run with bands in, let's see, little numbers north because win. there are nine bands out. There's a north Pung. and a pung. North and south with a run, pung pung. Green dragon. Now they could be playing the first hand on the right, but east and west Seven are bamboos. down. So my guess is they're playing north Green and south characters. with a run in little bams. That's my guess. White dragon. There's a two bam out. So three, four, there's a five bam in front of them. They could Flower. be doing two, three, four. They have a six, seven, eight in bamboos. front of them and nine bams are out. There's a five bam. There was a little bit of a hesitation there. Two dots. I'm thinking they're playing two, three, four with their run. 
three for characters. North. Four characters. West wind. Okay, so they're not playing the first hand for north. Seven dots. No hesitation on the seven dot. Nine dots. We still don't know what what's going on to the player with the player on the right. Okay, now nine dot had red dragon did have a a little bit of a hesitation Six bamboos the player to the right west they're Eight not playing nine. three six nine they're probably not playing like numbers with dragons there's one dragons nine. in front of them there one three Seven they're probably dots. not playing little odds they're probably nine bamboos my guess is the player on the right is also doing a consecutive hand Eight bamboos they could be playing a little Five. odd hand they could be playing let's see there's one three five in front of them one bamboo i don't think anyone's playing three six nine four characters my guess is they're playing an odd hand with West. Nine bamboos. I'm thinking little odds, maybe in BAMs. Flower. Little odds in BAMs. I don't see Flower. one three in BAMs out. And there's only one, two, no fours. Six dots. I think South is playing mixed suit consecutive Six run. Six dots. We'll see. No hesitation on some of these discards here. Five dots. There's there's a, a slight hesitation on five the five dots. dots. It's probably because of East having that, but someone else, the player to the right. One dot. Although they discarded a five dot and a three dot. Six bamboos. This is going to be Seven very dots. interesting. Seven dot out. The player on the left. Six dots. I wonder if they're playing addition. Four, four, eight. There's a four crack in front of Three them, though. Bamboos. They maybe could have changed their hand. There are other eights out, so they're not playing Money like shot. numbers. Eight, nine, mixed suits. Okay. Uh, interesting. Here we have north and south with two, three, four. Exactly what I thought right there over here. Consecutive run in mixed suits, but they did have some potential for like numbers with eights, but eights were going down. Over here, one, two, three, four, mixed suit, consecutive run, just as predicted. If you want to practice reading hands, try playing at Mahjong time and spectate an ongoing game. And based on exposures and discards, try to figure out what they're playing. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to close this and I'll go to a table that's in play. Basically, it will be one where there are four gold players and then just click watch. Now, if it says review, the game ended. So don't do that one. Click spectate and then find one where they're in the Charleston. So this is a game already in play. So I would just back out of that and then go back to games and fun games and then click on another one. Spectate. You want to find one where they're doing the Charleston. Okay, so that is also a game in play. We want to find one where they're doing the Charleston. Let's see here, spectate, here we go. Nope, game in play. I wish there was a way to see if they're in the Charleston because that's what you want. You want to find a game where they are in the Charleston. Let's see here. Watch, watch, spectate. No, 
They're already playing. Just click on one until you see that they're in the Charleston. None of these right now are doing the Charleston. Let's try this one again. I don't remember if we already tried that one. Nope, that one's almost done. Because you want to get it after the Charleston so that you can start with the pick and discard phase. And it may take a set. Oh, here we go. This would be a perfect one. So they have, they're during the Charleston, first Charleston, right past. So you can't see any of their hands, which is good because this is going to help you with your deduction skills. And you're going to wait until the Charleston is complete and then watch the discards. Try to figure out what they're playing just based on discards if you can. 10% of the tiles in front of each player are from another player. So in other words, 90% of the tiles in front of each player are the tiles they discarded. So keep that in mind. You can figure out maybe what they're playing just based on the discards alone. And then as they have exposures, by process of elimination, figure out what they're playing. Reading hands is a great skill to build. It can help you figure out what other people are playing, but it can also help you make decisions on your own hand. And this works for social gaming or even competitive play. So if you like playing in tournaments, practice reading hands at Mahjong time. If you haven't tried playing there yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information about their 30-day VIP trial. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.